Hey guys, so just a little bonus video for you guys this week. Something interesting happened last night. I wanted to share um, and just kind of see if you guys have a similar experience. So long story short, uh, my sensor it was expiring last night. So I was getting ready to start the change process last night and get started on my, my new sensor for the week. In the mix of that, my pump battery was also low. So I was... Trying to wait it out and change the sensor and the pump battery at the same time. So, um, in doing so, the pump actually died and um, it lost complete power for just a, a minute or two. Um, I did place a new battery in it and it booted back up fine. I just had to confirm the date and time. The time was only off for one minute, so it hadn't been dead for long. And then, shortly after, I started my sensor. Well, for those of you who've been following along, know that on the 770G, for some reason, me and a couple of the fo of my followers on this channel and my Facebook page have been experiencing a three-hour calibration window for about the first four calibrations on the new day of a sensor. Well, I don't know if the pump resetting with the battery or maybe the interstitial fluid in my arm was um, significantly better than it has been for about the past month, but in this scenario, whatever it may be, um, I actually got a little over a six hour calibration for the first calibration. Well, since it is night and I'm trying to get ready for bed, um, I typically wait about 30 to, minutes to an hour and I calibrate again. And that gives me two calibrations. I have not had any problems with the sensor um, in doing this, but I did it and then I got a 12 hour, I'm good for 12 hours and I made it through the whole night without any issues or problems. The sensor has been working fine. Um, just wanted to share this information with you. Um, I don't know if, I don't look at my ISG value um, in the sensor information. If you do and you kind of notice that, hey, it requires a less calibration because maybe the value is lower or you get a longer time between calibrations, kind of let me know in the comments. I'm curious at how that works. Oh, sorry, I got something in my eye. But um, I also don't know if the possible reset with the battery dying could have changed things. Um, I'm not recommending that you guys do that. I'm just simply trying to provide you with what happened, kind of a unique situation. And uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, the, the calibration stay at six hours for me. Um, I definitely was frustrated with the three hour calibration. Um, if you've experienced something similar, please let me know in the comments. I definitely wanna know and I think it's a good, this is a good kind of topic for um, 770G users to be aware of, especially if um, they're experiencing the three hour calibration and maybe it's the ISG value and how can we look at that on the warm up and see, okay, well, it's not quite where it needs to be. Let's give it a little bit more time before we do the first calibration. So that way we get a longer um, time between calibrations or if it might have happened, haven't, excuse me happened to have something to do with the pump battery. Um, anyway, just wanted to make this quick little video to kind of share that, maybe get the conversation going amongst people with the 770G and kind of see where it leads. I'm curious, it to me is a good change, um, but I'm kind of curious at what was the cause um, and I hope that maybe somebody else can provide some input in an area that I'm not familiar with and we can kind of figure out how to reset this on our own um, if it starts happening to us in the future. So anyway, um, if you haven't liked the channel already, like, give me a like on this video and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow for my update on my diet and how that's been going for me. Um, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow and then uh, Friday again for my next update on the 770G. Hope everybody enjoyed their weekend and has a great week. See you next time.